Okay, per the static status blog update that just went out, uh, we may be interrupted um, by a region restart in about a half an hour. Um, so I guess we should get started. Uh, so lots going on. Um, we believe we have a fix for the Thanksgiving bake fail problem that has afflicted many people. Um, we also believe we have a fix for the EAP settings problem that unfortunately very closely uh, matched the the release of the general release of Firestorm's EAP version. Sorry about that. Um, but we know exactly what the problem is and the fix is in the works. So, um, and in fact, it's been deployed to a DD and, uh, yeah, uh, and it's been deployed to a DD. So if you uh, want to test there, you can, um, and hopefully we'll get it deployed to Agni shortly. Um, it's actually a pretty simple change. So, um, Viewer pipeline, Veer, why don't you take it away? All right, uh, let's see. We have uh, two active RCs right now, which is the, the key mappings viewer and the latest iteration of Mate. Um, in the not too distant future, that should be getting joined by a couple of other things. We have a viewer that uh, replaces the the VFS cache with a simpler mechanism, um, and that one has a candidate that's being reviewed for RC. Um, and we also have the Jelly Dolls viewer, which uh, simplifies the rendering of um, uh, Jelly Dolled avatars that are above the, the complexity threshold to uh, draw them even faster and simpler than they uh, than they were before. Um, so both of those should be coming out as RCs in the not too distant future. Um, as you've probably heard, we've got this little uplift thing that's keeping a few people busy. So um, it's uh, and which you know is is uh, definitely having implications for QA as well. So some of these things may uh, may get backed up a little longer than they would normally. Uh, just bear with us. Um, in terms of the next viewer that's actually going to get deployed, I don't really know. There's not there's not a ton left to do for uh, either key mappings or maintenance. Um, so I think they're I think those uh, uh, you know could go out in the in the not too distant future. But I don't see. I'm not sure that we have anything that's uh, going to be coming out. Uh, you know in the in an immediate I, time yeah, I can, I can speak to Dawa, main Dawa real quick, Veer. Um, it okay. does have two little known bugs in it that we've got fixes in QA for. It's probably going to get through QA Monday, Tuesday. Uh, it's looking good already, but uh, that's the one where we're missing display names. Uh, so we're going to try and get that one pushed out quick. Do you think we'd try to get that out, uh, you know, as, as a release before the holiday break, or is it more likely we'd uh, we'd wait on that? Current release is so stable, I'd rather let it soak. Yeah. Okay, so a uh, decent chance we wouldn't have a new viewer coming out before uh, for the new year. Then uh, I think that uh, I think that covers all the stuff that we have in the kind of immediate uh, immediate pipeline for viewers. Uh, so the floor is open. I know there have been a lot of issues to deal with lately. Um, if it's any comfort to you, there have been a great many more that you haven't been aware of.
we are we are closing we are fast closing in on being completely uplifted but the last 10 percent takes a lot longer than 10 percent it feels like we're way under 10 percent it's like the last three percent yeah it's that's probably more accurate uh, There, there are still things left to be done that will, you know, be uh, that may end up causing noticeable performance changes in one direction or the other. Some of them one way, some of them the other. We'll see. We're monitoring and collecting stats at a furious pace, so we'll know. How do you think we've been getting through these weeks, Whirly? Yeah, we do have some issues that have come in for, uh, you know, th through uh, through EAP that are, are flagged as high priority that uh, the next next load me render viewer. Um, that's near term graphics fixes right now. I'm 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 not very confident that any changes at all, including things that some users will consider critical fixes, will not be condemned as further breakage in EAP, but that just seems to be the way rendering works. So. I, 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 I don't see any way we could possibly do a uh, do a complete rewrite of the pipeline if it turns out that that's what's needed, uh, and maintain perfect bug for bug, pixel for pixel compatibility, right? Uh, it it probably wouldn't even be desirable for us to, to try, uh, but we'll. We'll wrestle with that when we're closer to it. <laughs> I, I sympathize with that thought, Whirly. Uh, I think there's, um, from past experience, uh, a such a thing as advising people too early. Uh, until we uh, start getting close to actual breakage, telling people that things are going to break a year from now does nothing but freak them out. And it's not clear that enough of the user base is paying attention uh, in, in getting our communications that it's... Uh, that it's right. possible for us to really get the word out to everybody who is going to be affected. Uh, people just aren't reading the forums or not 
there are certainly not that many people coming to these meetings. Uh, so sometimes people aren't going to hear. Uh, and then they're surprised when it finally happens, whatever it is. We've, we've tried doing the message of the day thing, and that doesn't seem to get through to people either, actually. Uh, it, uh, I mean, it, each one of our communications gets uh, some penetration, but ultimately um, people won't notice things until they affect them directly. Uh, and that's fine. It's kind of as it should be. Um, people just won't notice the difference at all. Yeah, I mean, everybody's surrounded by gadgets and software that are constantly trying to tell them things. It's not surprising that a lot of it's going to get tuned out. Uh, Beck, I agree. Uh, I think once we have a better idea of what the changes will look like, we'll uh, put together a uh, communications plan. Uh, we've certainly tried to do right. People won't stop using them right up until uh, the last day. I know on other products, I don't, I won't migrate off of a feature that somebody's shutting down until they've shut it down. That's probably true, Beck. We actually had to back out a lot of, uh, you know, things that were initially perceived as improvements because of compatibility breakage before we uh, got EAP out the door in the first place. Fortunately, in that case, we can't convince ourselves that we need to support the old functionality. When it's gone, it's gone. One of the things I'd very much like to do, we, we ran some stats recently and discovered that the current way, the there there are actually two different requests you can make to, to log in to Second Life. One that uses an old protocol and one that uses the one our viewer has been using for many years now uh, and we ran the stats recently as part of doing testing on login and discovered that almost nobody is using the old one it's a, literally it was single digits a day or something like that of logins so uh, I might well decide that it's a good time to rip out that code in which case I will mention it here and on the open source dev list and in it well in advance. But um, I, I would love to rip out more and more of the of the code that's really not getting exercised well because it's always a source of eventual problem. It's clean.
I, I think, yes, I believe XML RPC is the old one. Yeah, well, yeah, I've been touching login code a little bit lately, have a little bit left to do, but uh, I'm not going to try and do that this round, but I have been stumbling across it and uh, keep thinking, boy, it'd be, that'd be good to get rid of. The other I topics. thought I promised that Oz wasn't letting me near the code. <laughs> uh, it, it, we did not deliberately change anything, um, but File a bug report if there's something you uh, something you think it's not working. Might also want to try clearing your cache since the um, just in case it's an issue with the your cached inventory. Oh, okay. Well, if you don't have one, then I guess you don't have to get rid of it. <laughs> Thanks all. Thank you. And congratulations again to Firestorm.
Um, it doesn't have to be. It kind of varies, but uh, there's certainly a lot of work to do. So, um, and yeah, there's rolling restarts uh, in about seven minutes. <laughs>